So the first thing we're going to look at is parametrizing cylindrical coordinates in R3. So let's begin by recalling the conversion formulas for Cartesian to cylindrical coordinates. So recall back when we looked at multiple integrals, we saw that for an ordered triplet x, y, z, that x is defined as r cosine theta, y is defined as r sine of theta, and z is simply z. And this is where the radius is greater than or equal to zero. The angle theta from polar coordinates is greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to two pi. And z is greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to h, where h is just some scalar. So what we want to do now is use this ordered triplet in these conversion formulas to now find a parametric description for a cylindrical surface in R3. So keep in mind here that we need a two-parameter description for our surface. So to begin, our parameters will now be, we're going to let u be theta, and we're going to let v define z. So we're going to use these two parameters to redefine the parameterization of a cylindrical surface. So from our Cartesian coordinates, we know that x is defined as r cosine theta. We know that y is defined as r sine of theta. And we know that z is simply z. So we want to take these Cartesian coordinates and redefine them in terms of u and v. So our parametrized x in terms of the new parameters u and v is going to be r cosine of u. Our parametrized y in terms of u and v is going to be r sine of u. And last but not least, our parametrized z in terms of u and v is going to be v. So these are the three new parameterizations, our two parameter descriptions that we're going to use to redefine the vector valued function for our cylindrical surface. So we can say that therefore, our vector valued function in terms of the parameters u and v has our three components, x of uv, y of uv, z of uv, and we're going to plug in what we just found above. So the two parameter description of a cylindrical surface in three dimensions is going to be r times cosine of u, r times sine of u, v. And this is still where the radius is greater than or equal to zero. Theta, which is now u, so we have u is greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to two pi, and z, which is now v, will be greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to h, and this is where h is some scalar, some real number, some constant value. So this is our two parameter description for a cylindrical surface in R3. So we now need to explore parametrizing spherical coordinates in three dimensions using a two parameter description. So let's begin by recalling the conversion formulas for the Cartesian coordinates to spherical coordinates that we saw back with multiple integrals. So we have for an ordered triplet x, y, z, x is redefined as rho sine of phi cosine of theta, y is redefined as rho sine of phi sine of theta, and z is redefined as rho cosine of phi. And this is where rho, the radius of our sphere, is greater than or equal to zero, where phi, the angle from the positive z axis to the radius rho, is greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to pi, and theta, the angle in the xy plane from polar coordinates, is greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to two pi. So we can now use these conversion formulas to find that two parameter description of a spherical surface in three dimensions. So we begin by redefining these two parameters. 
So we're going to go ahead and let u be angle phi, and we're going to let v be angle theta. So we now are ready to go ahead and find that parameterization for a spherical surface. So we want to keep our conversion formulas in mind. We know that x is defined as rho sine of phi cosine of theta. We know that y is defined as rho sine of phi sine of theta. And we know that z is defined as rho cosine of phi. So we're now going to take these and parameterize them in terms of u and v. So the parametric description of x in terms of the parameters u and v is defined as rho sine of u cosine of v. The parametric description for y in terms of u and v is defined as rho sine of u sine of v. And the parametric description for z in terms of u and v is defined as rho cosine of u. And so this is what's going to define the components of our vector valued function, vector r of uv. So we know that this parameterization has three components. We have x of uv, y of uv, and z of uv. And plugging in what we just found, or just redefined, we have the first component is rho sine of u cosine of v. We have the second component is rho sine of u sine of v. And the third component is rho cosine of u. And this is where we have rho is greater than or equal to zero where u is greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to pi, and where v is greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to two pi. And so this provides us with that new two parameter description of a spherical surface in three dimensions.